What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel, Panthers Advice. Today, man, we're going to go over the film with DJ Chark and figure out does it make sense for the Panthers to give him a new contract. We're not going to spend too much time breaking down every play, right, because we did that this past season. So we're going to look at the film and figure out what are the positives, negatives, and really go from there, man. Let's jump into it. All right, guys, now we're in the film room. Like I said before, we're not going to spend too much time breaking down the routes. We've already done that, obviously. So we just want to see... What did he do well at? And what are some things we didn't see? Let's jump into play number one right here. We have trips over here on the left, outside receiver. Panthers do a great job right here. It's fourth down, basically three curl routes. Now, I don't love that play call by itself, but they do a great job, as you're going to see. So you're going to have Mingo right here, a little block and release. Now, take a look what happens. Bam, block, releases out. That's going to bring the flat defender down here. This defender right here has this deep third. So when he's running with DJ, DJ has to sell vertical. It does a great job. Bang, bang. Cuts, plants. Boom, wide open. Let's jump to play number two. All right, guys. The second play we're going to look at, you got DJ right here on the post route. Take a look at this play. Does a great job. The second he cuts, he's going to start to create separation. Unfortunately, the ball is a little bit underthrown. Obviously, more than a little bit, but we're not going to spend time focusing on Bryce. This is about DJ. What does he do well? And as you're going to see, the second he makes that cut, he starts to create separation. If that ball's out in front of him, that's probably six. Good stuff so far, man. Let's keep it going. All right, guys. On this play right here, you got DJ at the top of your screen. Take a look right here. Bryce is going to drop back. To me, this was definitely a catchable ball. Now, with that being said, not an easy catch by any means, right? But definitely catchable, right? But as you're going to see, this defender from the jump, he's getting physical with DJ. And that's one thing the Panthers didn't have. Who's going to beat the press? You had Sullivan to a point, but he's a little bit slower, right? DJ does a pretty good job, unfortunately, doesn't come down with it. Let's check out the next one. All right, guys, on this play right here, you got DJ at the top of your screen. We're going to see a post route kind of like we did before when the ball was underthrown. This time, though, it's going to be overthrown. So what's that tell me? That tells me there was 80 yards left on the board, potentially two touchdowns, too, right there to DJ. DJ has potential. He's a great route runner, as you've seen so far. And Bryce definitely doesn't have a noodle arm. We just have to get that footwork under control. Let's keep it going. All right, guys, on this play right here, you got DJ in the slot, bunch set on the left. Now, this pass isn't going to be complete, as you're going to see right here. DJ is going to sit for a second and then continue that in route per se, right? Take a look at this again. So as we run this play back, watch DJ at the top of his route right here. He's going to sit, bang. He's going to sit and then continue the route. I don't think Bryce was anticipating that, right? Take a look what happens. Top of his route, going to sit and then keep going in. That's what I'm talking about with the timing. When guys are hurt or guys aren't playing, it's hard to get that timing down. Let's keep it going. All right, guys, you got DJ at the top of your screen on this play. Take a look what happens right here. Look at this catch. DB kind of forces him in. He finds the soft spot in the zone, and then he holds on to that. Man, what a catch right there. Take a look at this. He's going to go to the outside. Bam. DB kind of forces him in, finds a soft spot, Whew. and comes down with that ball. Great catch. Let's keep it going. All right, guys. On this play right here, you got DJ at the top of your screen. We have a bunch set on the right, as you're going to see. Bryce is going to throw it up, but unfortunately, once again, that footwork is going to cause the ball to go out of bounds. DJ does a great job finding the ball, coming down with it, but unfortunately, he can't stay in bounds because the pass it just wasn't there, right? But take a look what happens. As we run this play back, Bryce does a great job hitting that back shoulder, right? But unfortunately, the ball is just selling out of bounds, so it's not a lot for DJ to do. Not bad, but on third and five, why are we throwing that anyway, right? Let's keep it going. All right, guys, on this play, you got DJ at the bottom of your screen. Take a look at this play. He's going to snatch this thing from the DB. The ball's unfortunately a little bit underthrown. Now, Bryce is going to get pressured. We still have to work on that footwork. But for the most part, not a bad throw. But take a look at him snatching that thing from the DB. Turns around and just grabs it. Whew, nasty. Let's keep it going. All right, guys, on this play right here, you got DJ at the bottom of your screen. I love everything about this play. A little RPO, looks to the middle, doesn't like it. Rolls out, DJ sees that, bam, DJ's right there, and that's six on the board. Now, why do I like this play so much? We'll take a look right here. One, little RPO, bam, Bryce is reading the defense. The left's not open right there, the middle's not open. DJ knows that if he goes bam and goes in, the safety's going to pick that up, right? Let the play develop, bang, bang. DJ's cutting in, the safety's right there, he's reading Bryce. That's not going to work, right? So what does DJ do? Cuts that thing back to the outside, right? Bang. Take a look. Whew. Great stuff right there, man. That's why I like DJ a lot. Let's keep it going. 
All right, guys, right here, you got DJ at the bottom of your screen. We're going to let the play develop. We're going to break it down after. Bryce is going to drop back, brings the safety up. DJ creates separation, but unfortunately, the ball is underthrown. Once again, DJ probably should have had another touchdown. Let's run this back real quick. So as we look at this play pre-snap, most likely cover one across the board, right? Bryce has to bring the safety up here. So what happens right here? Looks at DJ for a second, comes back to the middle, then goes back to DJ, boom, right? From the 50-yard line all the way to the 10. Now, some of you guys said Bryce has a noodle arm. Well, we just saw him easily throw it 50 yards earlier. It's all about the footwork with him. He can throw the ball. He just has to get his footwork right. Now, with all that being said about Bryce, take a look at what DJ does right here to create that separation. He's going to go for that outside release. DB's pretty much on top of him, right? He's going to take one little cut right there. Bang. Look at that. He's going to cut right there, creates a separation, then boom, turns on the Jets. That should have been six, man. That should have been six. If he comes back next year, I think he'll have a pretty good year. Let's keep it going. All right, guys. This time we got DJ at the top of your screen. On the left side, though, take a look at what happens right here. Empty backfield. The receivers do a great job bringing the DBs back, and then DJ is right there, man. Good stuff. Good throw from Bryce on the run. Bang, bang. Let's keep it going. All right, guys, on this play right here, you got DJ at the bottom of your screen. Once again, we're going to see a post route. Take a look right here. A little RPO bang. It looks like the Lions are in some type of cover two. Maybe cover one, man, it's hard to say, but DJ, once again, open on that post route. Take a look. Bang. Good stuff right there, man. Let's keep it going. All right, guys, now it's time for intermission. Go get your popcorn, pause the video. I'm just playing. By intermission, I mean we're going to switch quarterbacks. Believe it or not, Andy Dalton went to DJ quite a bit the one game he was in. We're going to look at those throws, kind of talk about it a little bit, go from there. Let's jump into play number one. You got DJ at the bottom of your screen right here, a little three, five-yard slant, as you're going to see. Take a look, and he's going to get it, drop back, bang. Unfortunately, the ball a little overthrown, as you're going to see. Not bad. Let's keep it going. All right, guys, on this play right here, you got DJ in the slot. He's going to run a corner route. Now, unfortunately for the Seahawks, nobody's going to pick him up. He's going to run right past everybody. And it must be something with DJ because every time he's wide open, the ball is underthrown, right? Take a look at this. I mean, he is wide open, as you're going to see. And the ball is underthrown. He has to wait for the ball to get to him. Still takes it for six. Great move right there, man. Let's keep it going. All right, guys. On this play right here, you got DJ at the top of your screen. Take a look right here. Panthers are going to run play action. Bang, bang. Pretty clean pocket. Andy's going to throw it up. Unfortunately, the ball is going to get tipped. Actually, pretty good throw by Andy Wright. So as we look at this play one more time, this DB is all over DJ, as you're going to see right there. Doesn't really create a lot of separation. The pass is pretty good, though. The pass was pretty good. Unfortunately, it gets tipped, as you're going to see. Bang, bang. Not a bad throw. Let's keep it going. All right, guys. On this play right here, you got DJ at the top of your screen. He's going to go an inside burst. Take this thing inside. Try and sell the DB on that, then cut that thing back to the outside. Take a look at this play right here. Andy's going to drop back. Watches the middle safety, then bam, goes to the outside. Unfortunately, not a lot of separation right there, but enough where if Andy leads him to that ball, that's probably complete. Let's keep it going. All right, guys. On this play, you got DJ at the top of your screen. Take a look at this play as it develops. Andy's going to drop back, brings the safety to the right, then throws it back to the left over there to DJ. As you're going to see, he puts that thing only where DJ can get it. Great stuff right there, man. Let's keep it going. All right, guys. On this play right here, you got DJ at the bottom of your screen. We're going to break it down after because I think it was potentially a choice route. Now, what do I mean by that? I think it was depending on how the safeties are playing it. it will depend if he does a corner route or post route. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So about right here, I'm thinking it's either going to be a post route potentially or a corner route depending on how the safety plays it because when he looks back, He's like, all right, where's the ball going? Is it a streak? Is it a corner? Is it a post right? Which one is it? I think if it was supposed to be a corner route, he doesn't look back right here. That wouldn't make sense, right? Why would he look back right here if the ball is going to be over here? Just let me know what you guys think. Let's jump to the next one. All right, guys, right here is going to be our last play. You got DJ at the bottom of your screen. Once again, we're going to see him make a back shoulder catch, but as you're going to see, the ball is going to take him out of bounds, man. That happened with Bryce and Andy. So as you're going to see right here, man, great back shoulder catch, but unfortunately the ball takes him out of bounds. So what are my notes so far? He doesn't make a lot of people miss in the open field, except for that touchdown he had in Seattle. Other than that, 
doesn't really make a lot of people miss. So I would like him to be the number two receiver. I want our slot guy in open field to make people miss. I think he has amazing route running skills. Let me know what you guys think. I think the Panthers need to get a number one receiver. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Stay tuned. More content coming soon.